Greetings, true believers! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Who doesn't love Marvel's Avengers? A great big jam of heroes and heroines from across the globe, banding together to fight the foes that no single one of them could beat alone. And it all started with a cool exec in his heart of steel. Of course, you don't need an onboard computer to know that today's subject is the one and only Iron Man. Released in 2008, Iron Man is the real beginning of the road to the Avengers. Updating the origin of Tony Stark to a modern day conflict zone, this film shows the birth of the so-called Golden Avenger and proves yet again that one man can make a difference. So strap on your rocket boots and fire up your repulsors cause we're breaking the sound barrier with the one and only Iron Man. Meet Tony Stark. Genius inventor, heir to the Stark Empire, and charismatic playboy. And his right hand, Pepper Potts. Well, get yourself something nice for me. I already did. And? Oh, it's very nice. And his good friend, Colonel James Rhodes. On a routine weapons demonstration in the Middle East, Tony is captured by insurgents. <laughs> Just kidding folks, he makes it, he makes it. Wouldn't be much of a move if he didn't now, would it? Tony awakes in their mountain stronghold, hooked up to a car battery. His own weapons would have killed him, but for the help of a kindly doctor by the name of Yinsen. Dead. What is this? That is an electromagnet hooked up to a car battery, and it's keeping the shrapnel from entering your heart. The insurgents want a weapon, and they're quite insistent. Tony has other plans. That doesn't look like a Jericho missile. That's because it's a miniaturized arc reactor. That could run your heart for 50 lifetimes. Yeah. Or something big for 15 minutes. Personally, I'd prefer the 50 lifetimes, but that's just me. And in a cave, Tony Stark creates something big. But the head insurgent doesn't like it. I need him. You have to tomorrow to assemble my missile. And when he gets wind of what's really happening, he sends his men to put an end to it. Yinsen goes out to buy some time for Tony. But oh dear. Never a nice experience being outgunned. Why, I remember the siege of Alt 4. There was about 20 of us and several dozen. Just in time, Tony's project is brought online and battle commences. Sadly, Yinsen dies. We gotta go. I want this. I want this. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment for Dr. Yinsen. Iron Man is not amused by the insurgent stockpile of Stark weapons. And
And so, with the insurgent weapon cache destroyed, Tony is found by Colonel Rhodes. Next time you ride with me, okay? Back home, Tony makes peace, much to the chagrin of his co-CEO, Obadiah Stane. And that is why, effective immediately, I am shutting down the weapons manufactured... What we should take away from this is that Tony's back! What we do, we're ironmongers, we make weapons. My name on the side of the building. And what we do keeps the world from falling into chaos. Not based on what I saw. Has a change of heart. Wire under this device and it's contacting the socket wall and it's causing a little bit of a short oh, oh there's pus it's not pus it's an in <sighs> okay now make sure that when you pull it out you don't pull out the, there's a magnet at the end of it that was it and make sure you oh, yeah! see this is what i love about that scene is that it's mostly improvised so uh, they were given the basic outline and they sort of went from there and learns to fly. Easy, we see ten percent thrust capacity, chief lift. What? With one percent thrust capacity. Okay, this is where I don't want to be. Oh, not the car, not the car. Yikes! Wait for it, wait for it! Yeah, I can fly. Witness then the Iron Man. Now, Icarus flew too close to the sun and his wings melted. Tony Stark has the opposite problem. But the wrong hands are already searching for the prototype. Back in America, Tony steps out. But an old friend has some bad news. Compounded by a betrayal close to home. I was the one who filed the injunction against you. Watching a news report, Iron Man has had enough of an old Soviet smelting plant and intervenes. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how we in the 21st century deal with human shield situations. Naturally, this causes concern. To go in there? No, sir, they were using human shields. We never got the green light. Cue an aerial dogfight. <laughs> but Stain was in league with the insurgents all along. With a dozen of these, can rule all of Asia. And with a couple of gadgets, Obi Stain is now the master. Later, Pepper runs a small errand for her boss. You did not tell us that the target you paid us to kill was the great Tony Stark, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Get back there. Is that today's paper? Yes, not at all. Puzzle. Of course. Oh man, the executive crossword addiction. The stories I could tell. But in the lab, Stain is met with failure. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! Which leads him to borrow Tony's arc reactor. Fate, you survive that. You really think that just because you have an idea, it belongs to you? And I am definitely sparing you the rant on that one. Let's move on quickly. Luckily, there's a spare. Good boy. 
Good boy, Dex. And so the stage is set for our finale. Stain wants rid of the witness. But Iron Man has other ideas. Cue a rip-roaring rumble as the two suits square off. How'd you solve the icing problem? Icing problem. Might want to look into it. But the spare can only last so long. The pulse is not mine. This is our And just when all seems lost, Pepper fires the main reactor and fries the ironmonger. But shock! Tony's alive! Man, that's kind of catchy. It's got a nice ring to it. I mean, it's not technically. And so our movie ends as our hero declares, "I am Iron Man." Jarvis, Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. So then, that was the one and only Iron Man. And I'd have to be crazy not to put this one into the House of Love. It's the performances, largely improvised, that do most of the work here. Robert Downey Jr. is affable but never arrogant. Gwyneth Paltrow is tough yet vulnerable, and Jeff Bridges is equal parts slick and menacing in his role. It's not a perfect movie though. The storyline is nothing we haven't seen before, and in the wrong director's hands this would have bombed. But while it's more spectacle than art, more visceral than cerebral, Iron Man works because of these factors, not in spite of them. This is a white hot grease fire of pure entertainment. And that's more than enough for me. So thanks for watching. But before I leave you today, I found out a few things about this old ring of mine. Turns out a friend found it while she was studying in Wales, and sent it over to me because it seemed important. Apparently it's a lion heart ring, whatever that is. Oh well, I'll probably find out some more stuff about it in the fullness of time. In the meantime, join me in three weeks for more fun and frolics. So long, folks.